Hello there, and welcome to Stanley Chess. I'm Stanley. You know, you can never really enjoy a game of chess against an Australian. You know why? Because every time he gives you a check, you're going to think that he won. Because he's going to say check, mate. All right, well, hey, I played a bullet game, and uh, I ended up sacrificing my knight. But it wasn't a real sacrifice. Stanley, you lunatic! How can you sacrifice a knight without it being a real sacrifice? You're crazy. Well, hey, you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Let's head over to the board. Like I said, this is bullet, and I suck at bullet, as per my rating. So uh, we have chaos on the board a little bit. We have a Karo Khan, or my attempt at playing the Karo Khan. And we develop some pieces. We have h3. It's a bit slow, but it does prevent my bishop from going to g4 to pin the knight to the queen. So I end up just going to f5 instead. We have bishop e2, knight f6, and g4. g4 forces my bishop back to g6. I don't really want to go back to like d7 or e6 because like d7 is just passive. And then e6 blocks my e pawn, and my dark squared bishop is not going to be able to get out, and it's going to be complaining for a while and be a real headache. So I go back to g6. Knight h4. My guy really wants to take my bishop. There's not much I can do about it, so I go ahead and let him take my bishop. I play e6, trying to prepare a little light squared complex going on so that when I do lose my light squared bishop, at least I'm kind of controlling the light squares with my pawns. Yeah. We have a3, another slow move, doesn't do quite much, and uh, bishop d6, getting my bishop to a nice active diagonal here, and I go ahead and put my queen on that diagonal as well. We have bishop d2 and castles. I castle long, thinking I'm going to make use of this open h file and try to get some kind of attack going, feeling that I'm better because... I mean, it's equal, but I felt that I was slightly better because he hasn't castled yet. His pieces are very passive and he, he has less space, right? Whoop. He has less space in the center, particularly. So I castled long looking to get something going, right? And we have B4 getting very aggressive over here on the king side, pushing pawns on both flanks, weakening a bunch of squares and keeping the king in the center of the board. Yeah. So, I play d4. Attack his knight. He ends up going here to b5, hitting my queen and my bishop. So, I have to move my queen. I do lose my dark squared bishop, which is quite sad. But, I still got my queen looking at the dark squares over here. So, I'm still doing all right. We have bishop f3, knight d5, hitting the bishop. Uh, bishop slides back. And... I play king b1. Why? Because uh, it's bullet and I didn't know what to do. So I played king b1. Eight. King b8. Don't listen to me. King b8. We have castles. And here, ladies and gentlemen, I sacrificed my knight! I sacrificed the knight! But it's not a real sacrifice. Why is that? Well, it's not too hard to see. But if the h pawn takes, it's made in one. So it's not a real sacrifice. Uh, <laughs> it just wins a pawn. My opponent plays bishop f4, being a silly. Uh, he spent 20 seconds on that move out of a total 60 seconds that you get in a bullet game. That is a third of his time spent on bishop f4, which just fully hangs the bishop. <laughs> and then he spent another 11 seconds on queen takes g4, which just hangs the queen. And then my guy resigned after I, I took the queen. This was quite silly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not sure. Anyway, uh, now I'm threatening mate with the queen and the knight. I don't even need the rook at this point. But, I mean, if you take, I still have mate. So it's quite unpleasant. Anyway, he resigned. I won the game. Well, hey, I know this was a short video. I just wanted to share that game with you because I thought it was quite fun and silly. All right, well, hey, if you liked the video, make sure to like the video, that little like button, and subscribe as well. I would really appreciate it. Oh, and feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, let me know your thoughts, suggestions for future videos. All right. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.